Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Star Child Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here, welcome. Hope you enjoy my videos. Please like, share, subscribe. If you've already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. Leave me a comment down below if you want to. So here we're doing the mid-March mini love readings and we're doing a uh, we're doing Gemini. So we're on the air signs, we're doing Gemini. So what does Gemini need to know about love for mid-March? What does Gemini need to know? about love for mid-march what does gemini need to know about love for mid-march what does gemini need to know about love for mid-march we've got sexy intimate times moon magic so we have that full moon at the end of the week Leave the past behind. I love you. Message coming in saying I love you. What does Gemini need to know about mid-March? What does Gemini need to know about mid-March? Once in a lifetime love. Wow. Playful fun times. A deep connection. Time out me time. So it looks like you've got some, some of you have got some sex intimate times coming up. We've got moon magic, so this could be around the time of the moon. And it's time to leave the past behind. You know, move forward in your life. And somebody's going to send you a message of love, or this could be you. And it feels like a once in a lifetime love. You've connected with somebody here, and you're going to have playful fun times. You feel a deep connection, but time out, me time. So, you know, remember to give time to yourself. You know, we can get overwhelmed if we get into these connections, you know, which are quite all consuming. So, remember, I think that's a reminder to take that time out for yourself okay to take a breather sometimes <laughs> even if you're enjoying it you know we all need that alone time sometimes i think so what's this sex intimate times about we've got queen of swords so that is your energy air sign energy so you you know you're speaking your truth here with somebody i think you're sharing your truth you're honest, open, and we've got King of Swords. So this could be you're connecting with another air sign, you know, obviously it could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You could be two Geminis. Um, but yeah, there's definitely a connection there. When I see two signs like that, it can be counterpart energy. So we've got the Moon Magic and we've got Eight of Wands energy. So the Eight of Wands, <laughs> the guy here is laying down in the garden. The Eight of Wands is about communication, but this guy seems very laid back so um yeah it's normally that fast communication but this guy is quite laid back so it could be a while since you've heard from somebody here i'm thinking and it it could be that the moon around the moon you're going to hear from somebody is going to be like exchanges of messages and it's time to leave the past behind we've got three of pentacles here so maybe you were involved in a third party situation some of you here um you connected with somebody that was already involved or vice versa what's that three of coins about yeah we've got knight of pentacles so maybe that was an earth sign energy that you were connected with before and they were involved with somebody else or you know this is you know the air sign and the earth sign so take what resonates for you but you are going to get a message of love and we've got the ace of pentacles so this is an offer coming in a brand new start coming in here and we've got the once in a lifetime love so what's that once in a lifetime love about there We've got Six of Pentacles energy, so that is that balanced energy. Um, I hope they're not into gambling. <laughs> uh, 
um but yeah that balanced energy there will be give and take and you're going to have playful fun times together you really enjoy each other's company it's a playful fun times about that Yeah, we've got three of cups, you know, that party time, celebration with friends, going out. And it can be that reconciliation energy as well. Okay, so there's going to be celebrations, there's going to be fun times. And it's a deep connection here. So what's this deep connection about? We've got justice, yeah, justice is served here for you in this connection, divine justice. Okay, this is what you're deserving, this is what you've been working on, this is what you've been waiting for. Yeah, Queen of Cups. So there is love here. You know, you could be connected with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but I feel feelings are very much involved here. You know, there is love here. And, you know, we've got time out, me time. So remember to do that. And, you know, if you do that, we've got Six of Wands, you'll have success and victory, you know, giving yourself that time out so what else does Gemini need to know about love for mid-march we've got the tower energy so something unexpected okay I feel this could be something unexpected coming in here it doesn't have to be anything to fear Okay, it can be just spirit coming in to shake up your world, for things to move in the right direction. Yeah, we've got eight of swords, so, you know, you could be very much stuck up in your head, feeling trapped, not taking any action, and they want to get you out of that. They want to get you out of that energy, so the tarot energy is coming in. Why is the tower there? We've got nine of cards. Because you deserve to have your dreams come true. You deserve your wish fulfilment here. And they're wanting you to have that. Why is the nine of cups there? Why is the nine of cups there? Oh, it's the Nine of Cups now. We've got Ace of Cups, so a brand new beginning in love here. Or as I say, for some of you, it could be a reconnection coming in. And we have the King of Cups as well. So somebody, it could be a, a water sign for some of you, but it's somebody in touch with their feelings, somebody that has a cup of love, and we had the King and Queen of Cups. So there's definitely like counterpart energy here in this reading divine counterpart energy so what else does gemini need to know about mid-march what does gemini need to know about mid-march we've got courage yeah sometimes we need courage in life don't we to to move forward to change our life in some way got gateway so there's a new opening coming up for you a new beginning yeah take risks taking risks you know that's what that tower energy is about i believe it's time for you to take risks in your life take a chance okay don't hold back so let's get your mo note from the universe message what does gemini need to know please you are destined for greatness on the wings of love how beautiful is that to clarify, the primary roles of love are not to heal, fix or mend, not to soothe, cure or ease, not even to refresh, rejuvenate or restore, hardly. The primary roles, roles of love are to yahoo, yeehaw and woohoo. Get your love on the universe. Yes, go for it. Enjoy yourself. You know, live in that moment. If you find that love, you know, 
it's very precious live in that moment enjoy yourselves don't look at the past don't think about the future just live in that moment and enjoy that that connection that special connection you have it's very precious so sending you love and blessings gemini bye for now